I met Susanna a couple months ago, right? Yes. And I saw what kind of cannabis program she was on from the government, and I wasn't really impressed. <laughs> I really wasn't. So I said, get in the car. We're going to go to the uh, Compassion Club, and we're going to put you on the good stuff, what I call the good stuff. <laughs> Max knows about the good stuff. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you that medical marijuana is amazing, and now that we know that we can juice it, and never have any risks associated with intoxication whatsoever, and you can turn it into a narcotic, because here's something really, really interesting about the marijuana plant. Any gardeners here? You guys garden, right? All of you garden. Did you know, I didn't know this, that the marijuana plant can change its sex from male to female, female to male. Is that ordinary in the plant world? Or is it, no? <laughs> It, it can change from if you want to grow hemp, you grow the male side. If you want to grow medicine, you grow the female side. But you can change it. You can force it to go from male to, to female. Not only that, but get this. When you're growing a marijuana plant for medicine, and there's 4,500 medical strains available now, by the way, you can take the exact same seed, two seeds out of a marijuana plant, identical twins with the same DNA from, say, OG Kush or something. That's a strain. And you can plant them six feet apart, put a wall between them. All you have to do is separate them by about 30 degrees of temperature, and you will produce another strain, a completely different strain. So marijuana as a plant can change its sex if you want to grow for hemp, lumber, biofuel, uh, some medicine, um, uh, paper. And then it changes its sex if you want to grow medicine. Then it does something else. It changes its strain. Then I found out, this is just amazing. If you want to grow marijuana for medicine and you want a little bit more um, pain-killing properties in the plant, you grow it under a black light. A black light is radiation. And the radiation hits the, the leaves of the plant and it sends THC up to the, to the plant to save the plant from the radiation. You can make customized medicine. I've, I researched this all day and it is just unbelievable what you can do with the marijuana plant. I'm going to tell you four ways that I use marijuana before I go out the door in the morning. I have marijuana... Should I bring over my kit and show you guys? <laughs> No, okay. I have, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, I'm getting, no. Okay, it was all cleaned up and it didn't smell. Okay, so no from there. Okay, if I can't show you, then I'm going to explain to you. Um, I take a tincture, a liquid tincture, and I take uh, about uh, three quarters of a tincture of that in the morning, of a dropper, an eyedropper. And then I take um, a, a little bit of a Rick Simpson oil. Now, you know what Rick, Rick Simpson oil, you're on the exact same stuff I'm on half a grain of, grain of rice just a little bit in the morning and then from my vaporizer I save the leftovers from my vaporizer I make pills from them they've got loaded with CBD and then I finally go and put some sore muscle rub on my back so that's four ways I use cannabis and why do we use cannabis differently now this is really really super important if you just use cannabis one way say you just vape or you just take tincture or you just use Rick Simpson oil you're not getting the cannabinoid compounds. My system of, of uh, using ma medical marijuana is very different. I use as many, I did a lot of research and I found out that if you use as many different strains and cannabinoid compounds and layers of the medicine as you can, it makes the medicine much more powerful. And I'll tell you an interesting little story. When I first started vaping medical cannabis for chronic pain, I would vape what they call single strain. That's just a single strain of marijuana. And I would inhale it into my lungs. And by the way, you vape at 220 degrees Celsius. It's the same temperature that you would bake a potato at. So you're not burning it. And then when I, when I have my medicine, I reuse it again. So I can buy $200 worth of flour and get $400 worth of medicine out of it because I use it in my sore muscle rub. I can put it in a pot of tea and pour hot water over it and, and get CBD tea from it. I can make brown pills. I can put, it's, it's great. You can put it in anything edible or anything drinkable. Now, sore muscle rub, you're having a good, good consistency with sore muscle rub, are you? Yeah, 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 okay. So it's really important that when you are talking about medical marijuana, people will say, you have to have this strain and you have to have this strain or you have to have this specific strain if, if somebody tells you that. That's completely bogus, it's not true. And I'll tell you why. 
a single strain of marijuana will do a certain cannabinoid. So when I was vaping marijuana, a single strain, my smell, the sense of smell would be extremely good. I would, wow, you could smell flowers from a half a block away. That's because the cannabinoid structure of that single strain improved my smell of my, my nose. The next strain, I would notice that my eyes, I could almost take my glasses off when I was watching TV because my, it lowered the pressure of my ocular nerve and it allowed me to almost watch TV with my glasses on. It improved my eyesight temporarily for four hours when you vape, right? Another strain, a third strain, would do something to my, I could, I could hear really, really well. So I, I got to thinking and I got to researching, you need to use a lot of different strains. So I did an experiment. I went down to the Compassion Club and I said, here's 200 bucks. Give me four strains, $50 of each strain. They did. I brought them home. So now when I prepare my cannabis, I take one bud, one thumb size bud of every strain of those four strains and I cut them and I put them in my vaporizer. Now something interesting happens. The medicine is much more effective and you do not build up a tolerance to the medicine. If you're using single strains, you build up an awful big tolerance. If you use multiple strains, it's much easier on the body and it's much more powerful. I get four hours of incredible pain relief 